Welcome to Power Gaming. Today I'm gonna continue Necrom's main story and let's move on. Why has the realm turned against us? Apocrypha reels in pain, and I feel it too. I don't sense the Great Eye's gaze. Has Hermaeus Mora abandoned us? Poor Hulan. The Seeker just swooped in, struck him down, flew off. They've never attacked a settlement before. It rushed to attack and then just froze in place. I think it's sick. One of Black Crown's sensors. They're not even hidden. Destroy it. Let's return to Leramil's study and tell her what we found. has gotten worse. See to Scroot while I do what I can for Laramil. Flee, mortal. The pain overwhelms me. Soon I won't be able to tell friend from foe. And my many beguiling eyes, each blinks out and goes dark in turn. Soon I'll be totally blind. What I can do to help Scroot? I, I don't know. But the pain and the blindness... Is this what caused the Great Eye to disconnect from his realm? To allow Vermina's dream to envelop him in order to escape the suffering? You don't suppose she has a dream for me, do you? Caden is a monk. Maybe he... Uh, he will come up with something. The other mortal? Oh, to have my fate rest in such fragile hands. Really, you should go. Apocrypha is no longer safe, and I don't want to hurt you. Wait. A barely perceptible ripple in the threads. Someone approaches. Who's coming, Scrooge? Your allies suffer needlessly, mortal. Allow me to aid them. This affliction is beyond my skills. Vermina and Periite have gone too far with their corruption. It works its way into the very fabric of Apocrypha. You only need to look to your two allies to see the harm it causes. I can ease their suffering, mortal. You have been working with Vermina and Periai the whole time. Why should I trust anything you say? It was an alliance of necessity. I needed their assistance to recover that which was taken from us in ancient times. Hermaeus Mora did what he thought right, as have I. I have no desire to punish him for following his nature. So, what exactly are you offering? I know where to find Blightcrown, so that you can stop him before he does irreparable damage to this realm. And I can show you where Vermina has gone. I no longer care to share the ancient memory with her, or Periite. Why would you help me after all this? Because I also require help. I offer a trade, an end to this assault on Apocrypha, for the assistance of fates chosen. Decide, mortal. Blightcrown even now works his way toward the core of this realm. Soon it will be too late to reverse the damage. All right. Tell me where to find Blightcrown. Crown. I will mark a location on your map. Here we can open a path to the place Hermaeus Mora calls the Mythos. Not to a memory this time, but to the here and now. Then you can stop Blightcrown before the corruption becomes irreversible. What do you mean, open a path? It will take all of us to reach the Mythos. Allow me to ease the suffering of your allies. I can see again. Go, Proxy. I shall join you at the location. Running 
Okay, let's see. Oh, there. So, I guess I just tried there. Another one. Okay, gods. Fractured monolith. What are these? spoke true. We can reach the mythos from here. But first, we must align the threads of fate. Assist me, Proxy. I can align the threads through your capacity. Mortals manipulating the very strands of fate. How unlike Hermaeus Mora to put such power in your hands. He must be truly desperate to keep us in the dark concerning the crimes he perpetrated so long ago. Well, <clears throat> if we are going to help each other, I need to know what you are really after. I assumed my intentions were quite clear. I seek to restore that which was wiped from existence in the ancient past by Hermaeus Mora. The memories that I only suspected were real because of the dream that haunted me. Why did you think this dream was so important? Because Daedra do not normally dream. And this one was relentless, recurring night after night. A vision of a statue of Vermina and the ever-present gaze of Hermaeus Mora. I originally sought out the Prince of Dreams' help to make sense of it all. So that's how you got involved with Vermina and the Hidden Kindred? Obviously. But all Vermina was able to do was determine that she and Periite shared the barest recollection of the same memory. That knowledge bound us together. We pooled our resources and planned to recover the stolen memory from Apocrypha. But who are you? You have no clan and Hermo Hermaeus Mora called you one of the Unseen. I cannot answer those questions. I have no memory of life before I lost my clan. I don't even know where I originally came from. A part of my past is missing. A part of me. And I won't rest until I recover it. Some memory returns, but not enough. Okay. Ah. Nicely done. Now let's return to Lirimel and see if everything aligned correctly. Almost there. Help me align the portal proxy. The way into the mythos is open. Chosen no fate. Speak with me. The corruption wreaks havoc with my realm, Chosen. Any relief I experienced after breaking free of Vermina's dream has left me. My connection to Apocrypha grows ever more tenuous, and the vile, poison to 
debilitates me. The great eye is blind. Is there anything? <clears throat> is there anything I can do? While Vermina hides from me, I glimpse Periac's lapdog break into the mythos before my sight faded. He spreads corruption into the realm's foundation. As Apocrypha succumbs, the realm will crumble. Such destruction will ripple throughout reality. We were about to enter the mythos and deal with Blight Crown. Good. Once inside, you will be my eye. I will not be able to assist you directly, nor show you where to find the invaders. Torvisard says he can help us with that. Torvisard? Hmm. Of course. The unseen. I cannot sense his presence. The black book you carry. Use it if you need my strength. Just. Do not look directly into the pages. Even fate's chosen. Ah. Guess I go and help kill this seeker. Just do not look directly into the pages. Even fate's chosen can be harmed by the briefest of exposures to forbidden knowledge. I'll remember that. I call for all whose fates are intertwined with yours, chosen. Only together can you save reality. Have I mentioned how much I detest teleportation? You certainly do. When I embarked on this quest with you, I never expected to be working alongside Daedra, let alone be marching into the very heart of Apocrypha. I admit, I'm afraid, but I'll stand by you. By you and Laramil both. You have my word. You don't have to do this, Caden. Are you offering me a way out? Thank you, friend, but I'll pass. I promised the abbot I'd recover the Fulcrum Obscura, and Torvasad assured me Blightcrown has the relic. Is that all, uh, the only reason? Well, how can I turn my back on saving reality? 
or abandon Laramil. As long as the corruption threatens her, she's going to need someone to lean on. Wait a moment. What are you implying? Nothing. An odd collection of allies for someone so formidable. You may count me among them. At least until our paths once again diverge. I am ready to enter the mythos when you are mortal. Why can't Hermaeus more sense your presence, Torvesart? The Prince of Fate has his secrets, and I have mine. The truth is, however, I do not know. That is one of the things I hope to learn when I recover the stolen memory from the ancient past. You think the memory is about you? I believe the lost memory concerns us all. But yes, I think it holds a special significance for myself. What that is, I can only imagine. Not knowing, though. It drives me to reveal what was hidden, no matter the cost. Okay. They say the dead have nothing to fear. Why am I filled with a sense of unease? Well, as long as you carry my soul gem, I'll go where you go. Even if we're probably marching straight to our doom. You really think we are doomed, Mel? Truthfully, I have no idea. I've seen you accomplish some amazing feats, and Hermaeus Mora has faith in you. But this is the mythos we're going into. To face the champions of two enemy princes, maybe even the princes themselves. Uh, not my usual fare. So you think we should turn back? I didn't say that. The fate of reality hangs in the balance. That's not something to walk away from. Not if we have the slightest chance of preserving existence. No. I'll help you as I can. The spirit of a Tavani Magister and his surrogate body. What did Hermaeus Mora me mean about using back the Black Book? That's an excellent question. I had to employ numerous wards to barely study the thing without being whisked away to Apocrypha. But if the Prince of Fate says you can use it to aid your mission, take him at his word. He has no reason to lie to you. Okay. While the corruption still threatens me, I shall not turn away from my obligation. I started this with you. I plan to finish it with you as well. But we cannot understate the danger. If Scrooge or I succumb, turn to Torvesard to aid you. You, tr uh, you trust Torvesard that much, Laramil? Of course not. There is something unusual about that, Tremora. Not the least of which is the fact that the one who knows cannot detect his presence. But Torvasad obviously requires something from you. Use that to your advantage. Isn't it such, uh, just a masking effect of the corruption that keeps Torvasad hidden? Perhaps. But the one who knows seems to think something more is at play. And I agree. Torvasad requires further investigation. But later... When reality is no longer in imminent danger. Remember what Hermaeus Mora told you. Remember the Black Book. Do you know what I, uh, what I do with the Black Book? Just what Mora told you. Use it when you need to call on his strength. Do not look too deeply into the pages, though. I know from experience what gazing upon such knowledge can do to a mortal mind. <coughs> I just wish Gadain did not insist on going with us. You are worried about cu curate Gaden. I am concerned about all my allies, but yes, Gadain's safety worries me. Gadain's. Okay. I fear that his heart is too pure, too inexperienced to survive what we shall experience in the mythos. If I falter, keep him safe, Proxy. Please. Sir. And ten last but not least. I suffer just as the Great Eye suffers. But I'll float alongside you into the very depths of Apocrypha. Which just happens to be where we're going. Just don't blame me if my tentacles fall off or I 
attack you or something. Are you sure you are up this Scrooge? What choice do I have, mortal? The Great Eye commands, and I obey. Besides, whatever Torvisar did to me, it seems to be holding back the worst effects of the corruption. At least for now. Okay. Let's go in, gang. Disable Black Crown's manufactories, and the corruption will dissipate. Just shatter the dream crystal that binds them to the mythos. Save Apocrypha while I pursue Vermina. Come, Gadeen. We'll take the West Portal, and leave the East to Laramel and Fate's Chosen. Good thinking, Scrooge. This way, Proxy. The mythos appears endless. But I sense a huge concentration of corruption to the right. We must work quickly. Is not the mythos magnificent, Proxy? What I would give to better explore this place. That's not gonna happen now, at least. Light crown is vile monstrosity. No that one looks like a dream crystal. Destroy it. Let fate renew your vigor, Light Crown must have shattered the path. Simple enough to rectify. There. That took more out of me than I expected. Followed a path. Liramil can't keep pushing herself like that. The corruption is wearing her down. Chosen. Probably going to gloat. Over here. We could use some help. Where's Laramel? Good question. Is Laramil? Okay. Use my ghost sight. Use 
my ghost sight strike through. Thank goodness you showed up. We were set upon as soon as we arrived. We never reached the manufactory. The way is blocked. Let me summon a portal. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Here comes Laramel. You and Gadane go on ahead. I'll stay with her. Stay safe, Proxy. Behold, the very heart of the mythos. Just looking at it makes my head spin. Mm, this looks good. You already destroyed one of these manufactories? Then you know what to look for. for asking. Hmm. Well, to be honest, I was wondering. Fighting ancestors. That's horrible. Laramil's amulet can protect us both. Done? No? All right. I'm right behind you. Hope so. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Okay. No need to talk with anyone. The power I sense up ahead. It must be Vermina. Yes. I know you. The dream breaker from Stormhaven. You will not sneak away this time. While I wear Shalreni's mortal shell, 
Mora, I will regain what fate took from me. Destroy Vermina's nightmares to power my ghost sight. I purposed my ghost by my ghost sight to attack with precision. Maybe I just. Maybe I just. Oh. Let's. Let's bring Ember to the fight. What kind of trouble we getting into? While I wear Shalreni's mortal shell, Mora cannot find me. You must face me alone, mortal. I focused my ghost sight. Use my ghost sight to strike truth. There is no ghost side. Surprise, surprise that is our more nightmarish form. Ember is dead.
no. Vermina has been cast out, and Periite's contamination wanes. Well done, Chosen. Now, enter the second vault, and make sure the Glyphic is secure. And now our deal is done, mortal. I helped you save Apocrypha, and you helped me enter this vault. I will unlock this Glyphic, and recover the second part of the lost memory. Are you freaking kidding me? But Torvesar acquired the second cliffic. He escaped with it. What has occurred is what was meant to be. All the potential futures coalesced into a single point in time to render a moment in fate absolute. It was inevitable. Torvesar has the ability to avoid detection. Even from my old seen gaze. What kind of tremora is Torvesart? For one who knows everything, I can only speculate. But I find that refreshing. It relates to the forgotten memory. But unless I look into the glyphics, those details are lost. Even to me. So what now, Hermaeus Mora? Now I must restore my remnant. The hidden kindred linger, but without leaders they are merely a nuisance. You, however, are still fates chosen. Return to your allies in Cypher's Midden. When the time comes, you will find Torvisar and deal. All right, I'll return to Cypher's Midden. Do not despair, Chosen. Through your efforts, the lost memory was denied Romina and Periite, thus preserving reality. That Torvisan saw part of the secret is regrettable, but not catastrophic. Now, return to Laramil's study in Cypher's Midden. I thought you chose me to stop this from happening. Fate selected you to save Apocrypha and preserve reality. You have accomplished all that and more. Destiny followed the exact path that I foretold. But we are not yet done. You have more to do before our contract is fulfilled. But if Torvesart and I saw part of the secret, why isn't reality unraveling? Did you lie to me? The Prince of Fate does not lie. Two beings now remember a small part of a greater whole. There is still time and opportunity to correct this before the memory spreads. Isn't even two people with that knowledge dangerous? Danger exists in every corner of fate chosen. Such is the nature of existence. But the entirety of what was hidden in the distant past remains sealed away. The threads it connects to have frayed, but they have not broken. Reality can still be saved. Oh. Return to okay. We will speak again.
am glad to see you unharmed. I look forward to hearing about your encounter with Vermeer. Oh, let me! We defeated Vermeer! I didn't get to see you beat the Dreamweaver? How unfair is that? <sighs> so we can relax now? Ah, uh, friend, you have that look. What terrible news are you about to tell Laramil? What happened after you entered the portal, Proxy? Scrooge tells us the one who knows has reconnected with his realm. But beyond that, we are in the dark. I used a black book to help Hermaeus Mora expel Vermina from Apocrypha. Of course. He needed you to lead him to Vermina. Guide him to where she was lurking because she was hidden inside the body of Master Shell Remy. And what of the second glyphic? Is the secret memory secure? Torvesard reached the glyphic before me. He took it and escaped. Unfortunate, but not unrecoverable. Now that Hermaeus Mora is restored, he can locate Torvesard and deal with him once and for all. Unless... Does Torvesard still have some way to elude the one who knows? Even without Flight Crown's corruption? Yes, but Hermaeus Mora said that any... Uh, everything that has supposed to happen occurred just as he foresaw. Torvasad's nature. He is unlike any Dramora I have ever encountered. He helped us to help himself. But I believe him when he said he meant no harm. He just does not realize the danger this memory poses. I suppose that means we need to find him. We have time. It will take Torvesart a while to unlock the glyphic. Then let us take a moment to remember all we accomplished. All you accomplished, Proxy. You defeated Blightcrown, expelled Vermina, and saved Apocrypha, thereby saving Nern. Take this. The one who knows insists you accept this reward. While we contemplate the best method for tracking down Torvesart, there are two other tasks we must accomplish, Proxy. One concerns updating the records of Apocrypha. The other requires us to return to Necron and rectify the original anomaly of fate. The records of Apocrypha. Scrooge can provide more information, as it is a vital part of her job. After repairing a thread of fate, she must record the final details in the Chronicle of Apocrypha. Having your name inscribed therein is a great honor. And what was that about Necrom? Necrom, one of the first threads of fate we investigated to uncover the identity of Apocrypha's enemies. And it is the only one we did not resolve. We must accompany Gadain back there so he can return the Fulcrum Obscura. But first, talk to Scrooge. All right, I'll talk to Scrooge. Scrooge can tell you all about the process for inscribing her records in the Chronicle of Apocrypha. You should talk with her. Meanwhile, I shall discuss arrangements for returning to Necrom with Curate Gadain. I have to say that I'm surprised. I always thought that Scrooge was he. But anyway, you and Curate have become pretty close, haven't you? As have you and I, Proxy. That is only natural when allies face unimaginable danger at each other's side. Beyond that, I would prefer if we did not mention this again. Okay, as you wish. My role has always been to observe and repair the lines of fate, never to unduly influence them, no matter how sorely I'm tempted. So while I was waiting, it was just a nervous habit that I haphazardly started checking the nearby lines of fate. I thought we, uh, we were supposed to talk about the Chronicle of Apocrypha, Scrooge. The Chronicle can wait. This is more important. Why else would I have even mentioned anything, mortal? It's like no one ever listens to a word I say. Anyway, I noticed an anomalous thread not far from here, at the prismatic Irish shore. A fate anomaly. The sacred task appointed to me. My job is to spot and correct them. It's really important, but you don't care. I think it's the stolen glyphic. Removing it from the mythos triggered the irregularity. 
Luckily, I have been despotted. If it's the Cliffic, we have chance to find Torbeside and recover it. Not us, mortal. Just you. And Melon, I suppose. Only fate's chosen can resolve this, and that's still you. The prismatic Irish shores north of here. Meet us in Cypher's Hall after you deal with Torvisard. Then we can update the Chronicle. Has Blind Crown's corruption dissipate, uh, dissipated? Apocrypha is quite resilient. And since the burning sensation in my tentacles and the pain behind my orbs have mostly faded, I'd say yes. Besides, I can hear the melodious hum of the Great Eye resonating all around me. So that's a good sign. What I can expect uh, at the prismatic iris shore? Uh, the usual. Various denizens of Apocrypha. The stray hidden kindred or dream carver loitering about. But you might need Melm's ghost sight to follow the trail of the Glyphic. I barely noticed it. So it must still be in Torvisard's possession. Okay. Can I get you anything, Laramil? No, thank you, Gadain. I am mostly recovered from our ordeal. Okay. So that was next part of uh, Necrom's main storyline. I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on next one. Bye.